God. Isn't that right? Amen. We serve a prayer answering God. Amen. The fact of that matter is that, amen, we attend, attend, we attend at times to, to uh, feel as if God isn't there when we pray and nothing happens automatically. But how many know that when you pray in earnest, yeah. God will hear you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. God will hear you. He said the word tells us that he hears the faintest cry yeah. and he will answer by and by. Yeah. Amen. But the best thing about that is that, amen, he may not come when you think he ought to come. He, he, can I get a witness? Somebody. He may not come when you think he ought to come or when you want him to. But how many know this morning to be on the shadow of God that he's always on time. Hallelujah. Bless his name. That makes him a prayer answering God. Amen. And so we want to go to the Lord, amen, in prayer, knowing and trusting and believing, amen, that whatever we stand in need of, God will give it to us, amen? amen. Whatever we stand in need of, God will give it to us. Whatever we even, he gives us not only what we need, but he'll even give us some of what we want. Can I get a witness? Amen. How is that, Bishop? Because he says, no good thing will he withhold from them who walk upright and keep his commandments. Amen. That makes him a God that is not only a, 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 a prayer answer, but he, that makes him not short of his word. He, he is a God. He's a man that cannot lie. Amen. 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 So everything he said, we can count on. Isn't that right? Amen. That's his name. But we got to do our part first. Amen. 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 We got to do our part first. Amen. We can't do, we can't cut a rug and then expect God still. It don't work that way. Look at your neighbor and say, it don't work that way. Amen. We, we need to give him what he requires of us. Amen. Bless his name. As we come toward the altar this morning, amen. The family that prays together stays together. Amen. And, and, and the fact about that I like, amen, is that, amen, as long as we come having God on our minds, yes. he'll answer, amen. amen. I said if we come with him on our minds, God will answer, amen. Yes. He will answer prayer, amen. We lift it up. Mommy, my last day, last week, she hit us for it. Let's say amen. 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 Lady D and I called her and on our way home, and we let her know we loved her and missed her. Amen. And see, that's what family do. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. You, you, don't, you, don't, you, need to, you don't need to be primed and poked and all that other sort of stuff. Amen. When you love, you love. Amen. amen. Love is just an action. You just give it because it's what's in your heart to do. Amen. And let's give God a hand and pray. We got our boy today. Amen. I'm just today. Amen. Amen. Love his spirit. Love his heart. Amen. And we are grateful to God. Amen. For having him back with us on this morning. Lift up Mother Darby. She loves you all in her prayers. Amen. She's okay. She's fine. And, and I love it. And just before prayer, I love the how, I just love how when you do show, when you have care and you show it, don't it make you feel good when you know somebody cares about you? Amen. Come up them stairs. I couldn't get in the office. I couldn't get in there quick enough to hug my would be and kiss her. Where my girl? That's love. I said, that's love. Amen. 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 Folks, they got to think about you. Do you think folk really got to think about you? Amen. Folk don't have to care about you. Can I get a witness? Amen. They can look at you and keep on going. Amen. Amen. But it's a blessing when you have the love of one another. Amen. Running between you. Amen. And, and that's the love of the Lord. That's the love of the Lord. Amen. That's the love of God. Bless his name. She sends her prayers. Amen. All is well with us. We have a long day to be down here today. And she gets a little bored out after, amen, church time. And so she stayed on in. But she said to make sure that we let, um, let her, let you all know that she loves you. And amen. she misses you. And she's 
lead me up in prayer. If there are any prayer requests before we go to the Lord in prayer, if there are any prayer requests, amen, that you want to share, and if a name is a name, it's a loved one, if it's a family, amen, we lift up, continue prayer for, amen, the Darby family, we want to lift up my niece, amen, her, her little boy, um, Ellie, and uh, her little son, amen. Yes, sir. I just got a prayer request for, uh, for my aunt Tracy Van. Um, I was out last week burying my great aunt, and just uh, a day or two later, she had a massive stroke, and we don't even have 24 hours to make a decision uh, on taking her off life support. Uh, we'll definitely will lift her up. What's her name? Tracy Van. Tracy Van, sister Van. We want in your personal prayer time lift her name up. Amen. Yes. Amen. God is able today. Amen. I um, want to keep want you all to put in your prayers. My niece. Amen. Uh, my niece, the other and her little boy, um, um, Khalid. I don't know why I go blank on his name sometimes. Uh, she's in a in a situation with the daddy, uh, that daddy and, and her and the came and took the little boy yesterday evening and so we just want to have God amen and I mean they called mama called me and I'm not going over there no so you got to know when to stay your place too amen amen somebody I said see because I'll be over there and, and then uh, uncle daddy I am and he wrong all day long anyway and I'm gonna have to say something to him and so going I'm in jail this morning amen I'm in jail this morning, amen. So you gotta know how to be the bird to be wise as a servant, harmless as a dove. Everything ain't your body, everything ain't your fight, no way. It's the Lord's, amen. I told him pray, I pray, and I said, tell them to call the law for that day four, amen. So lift her up, keep them young, and they're young, they're young, they're young, they're young. So there you go, amen. They're young, but they need God most of all, amen. They need God most of all. So keep them in your prayers, amen, amen. Anyone else, anyone else, amen, anyone else, amen, amen. Unspoken, you don't have to say it, but it's in your heart and spirit. You want God to intervene? Just say unspoken. God knows, amen. He knows and he already, amen, knows all about it, amen. Bless his name. Hallelujah. As we go to God in prayer, whisper a prayer. In the morning, whisper a prayer at noon, whisper a prayer in the evening to keep your heart in tune. One more time. Being God that you are, and that none other can ever be. We come. 
come this morning, oh God, saying thank you for being just a good God. We come this morning in this holy house, your holy tabernacle with thanksgiving in our hearts, first of all, for waking us up one more day to see a new dawn of a day. Thank you, oh Heavenly Father, for one more day that you gave us to be yet in the land of the living. Thank you. Hallelujah for one more opportunity to put one foot before the other and to put our clothes on this morning and to have good sense of mind to come to your house and to give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise which is all due you. We thank you. Oh yes, Lord, we thank you this morning for the health and strength that you've given us. We may not be our best, but we're blessed. And so with what we have, we come to you today to give you genuine and to give you true and holy worship and praise. And we come to magnify your holy and righteous name today, Lord, because you have been and, and you are good. You're good and you're good all the time. You're good and you're good right now. And with the fruit of our lips, we want to say thank you. Thank you for being God today that none other could ever be. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for being our burden bearer. Thank you this morning. Yes, thank you for being our heavy load sharer. When it got too heavy for us, you picked it up and you took us by the hand and you led us on. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done, all that you're doing right now. And Master, we have a thanks in advance. We thank you before you do it because we know this morning that you are God, yes, you are, but God that looks beyond our faults, and you see our needs, right now we pray that you go into the future, everything that the devil has in store for us, we pray this morning that you find it right now, in the name of Jesus, every pitfall, trial. We bind it in the name of Jesus. We speak liberty. We speak liberty. We speak liberty over God's people. God's people shall and must be free. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for being so merciful, for being so Hey, yes, we bless your name today. We bless your name today. We ask today that you move about, go to each home, represented here today by your power, by your spirit. Move, God. We bind you. We bind your acts. We bind your works. In the name of Jesus, I speak liberty. Sister Green, that you touch her right now. You know, oh God. You know right now. You know right now. In the midst of that situation. Be Jesus right now. Be the fixer right now. Be the regulator right now. Oh God. Touch right now. By your power. By your spirit. Touch the family. Encourage their heart. Let them know that it's nothing too hard for you. Let them know. Let them know that you are. You're right there. You 
this morning. Touch that child. Touch that baby. Protect the way he may be. Touch that boy. And it's mine. Touch right now. Only as you can. Save him right now. Only as you can. Give him a desire to want you in their life. All of them we pray. Behind the devil right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you continue to bless us to see the growth. Church and membership. We pray that you bless each one. Bless each one. Heart by heart, name by name, each family, each home represented, oh God. Touched by your power, touched by your spirit, we pray. Move, oh God. Move only as you can, only as you will. Oh God, we've come this far. Lord, we've come this far. We've come this far by faith. Amen. 
thank God for the spirit as well as the power. Thank you. 
now, oh God. Today, your word that is your people. Speak to our hearts and speak to our minds. Oh God, give us that which is your word for us today. Strengthen us through your word. We pray now, God, that you will live, move, breathe upon your word even now. And it will become life and living word. Oh God, even as the living word from your lips. We pray right now that we have supplied the mechanics. You now send the dynamics. Move on this word, we pray, oh God. Let your people be strengthened. Let them be edified. Lord, let them be encouraged, we pray. Lord, let the least of all, oh God, hear and understand thereof. Let your word go out and accomplish that what it set out to do. Do not let it return void, oh God. But let it accomplish that what it sets out to do. Speak and use these lips of clay. Speak with my mouth. Oh God, feel with my heart. Think with my mind. But most of all, use me in my heart. That I might be sensitive to you, your will, and your way. Even now, God, as we prepare to live this word on your behalf. The spirit of the living God, fall fresh. Spirit of the living God fall fresh spirit of the living God fall fresh and Lord we will be so ever thankful and all always grateful and always lifting and never ceasing to praise your holy and righteous name we pray this prayer and ask we lift this petition to you now it's in Jesus name we pray Every heart said amen. somebody's original word and get up and go say it and act and talk about it as yours, that's a lie. So I say that's a lie. Wow. Amen. And I bless God that I've never consented to that nor needed to feel like I needed to try to do that. Amen. Because um, I will, I'm more afraid of God than anything else. Amen. And so he called you, called us to minister, called us to preach, amen, he called us to, amen, to speak on his behalf to his people, amen, and I believe that that calls for a full um, immersion of one's self to be given over to the spirit of God and allow God to speak to their heart, amen. And he can't do that just any kind of way. You've got to have your heart prepared. Can I get a witness? 
Amen. Somebody, you can't just go, you know, get 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 up and Lord, I'm finna preach. No, it don't work like that. Amen. You have to you have to give yourself over to God. You have to pray. Amen. You have to humble yourself and and, and pray some more. Somebody say pray some more. Pray some Amen. More. And you give yourself up totally and completely. It's not what you gotta say because you ain't got nothing to say. It's about what God would have to say. Amen. 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 Bless his name. Turn with me to the book of Psalms, uh, Psalms 121, Psalms 121, God bless you sister, sister Mary, amen, God bless you, Psalms 121, this being a Psalm of David, <clears throat> I love the Psalms, number one, because they are filled, they, it is filled with habitations from David, the psalmist who uh, was someone that knew firsthand about the love of God. Amen. When I say that he knew firsthand about the love of God, I say that in a, in a pure, profound way. Why, you may ask, because... He knew more about God than just God's wrath. He knew more about God than just God's judgment. He didn't know about that as well, but he really truly knew about God in his love. Because see, when you love, you also, you know, there are times when you love, you know, we love our children, but when they uh, cut a rug, when they do what we tell them not to, or they mess up a trip up, Amen. We love them, but we also have to chasten them. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. We have to straighten them up sometimes. We have to tighten them up a little bit sometimes. Amen. When they go out of way and out of out of perspective, if they move too far from where we need or want them to be. So he knew. David knew about that. He knew about God's chastisement. But he also knew more about his love. Can I get a witness? This passage of scripture, this Psalms 121, is going to share with us some perspective on that simple fact because as much as he knows about God's love, in the midst of him knowing about God's love, he knew that God's the God that would help him. He knew that God would help him. Psalms 121 reads these words. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. Listen at how personal David speaks. He didn't talk about nobody else but himself. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall Preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Let us all say amen. amen. Let's say amen again amen. for the reading and the hearing of God's precious and holy word. God bless you. Thank you so much for your audience. Amen. In regard and respect to the author as well as the subject, but also as for the reading and hearing of God's holy and precious word. I do believe this to be the word of God. I present it to us this morning in that fashion. I embrace the words of scripture where the gospel writer records before one jot <clears throat> or one tittle of this word shall pass away. Heaven and earth 
shall pass away, but the word of our God shall stand forever. And if anyone in the house believes that along with me today, if we could just give God a wave offering like this and say, even this day, Amen. even this day, God bless you. By way of subject, amen, we want to tag this lesson. <coughs> we want to tag this lesson, excuse me. Tag it by sense to be able to think about it during the week, hold on to it as the week progresses or goes, comes along, passes us by. We want to subject it by Simply saying, Jesus is my help. Jesus is my help. How many can truly say today that Jesus is my help? Jesus is my help. There's a lot of people that would profess to be helpers to us and in our lives. There's a lot of people that say that they are willing to aid and help us in our lives. There are many people that go even further to not just say, but try to suggestively show by coming to some part of our need or rescue in certain times of life when um, some predicaments might come in our way and perspectives might uh, hold us otherwise captive where we cannot work it out on our own or for ourselves. We have sometimes those that try to offer their um, levy of help and assistance uh, uh, to us in the time of need because their love or care for us promotes them, amen, to offer their help. Then there are some that, amen, should help but won't help. Can I, get a, can I get a witness? Bless God. There are some, there are those that help and don't lift a finger. Yeah, yeah. There are those, bless God, that 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 help, but that help in the in the in the most kindest, the most tenderest, the most loving, the most caring, and the most compassionate way they can, simply by before trying to do anything, coming to you and asking you, what can I do. All right, all right. And, and in times, bless God, uh, of trouble, in times of despair, bless God, in times of weariness, and in times of, 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 of shame and despair, amen, just that before the help comes, stay with me, before the help comes, isn't it good to just even get those simple words, what can I do? Those few words, Offer a, 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 a offer a bomb of sort to us and while we're in the midst of the predicament. It's good, amen, at least to know that somebody cares. Amen. Can I get with this? But just as much as it is good to uh, receive that type. And that manner of goodness and uh, 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 well, well, well beingness and kindness and consideration, uh, lest we think that the flip side of that coin does not exist, it exists. What do you mean, Bishop? That flip side of that coin is Mama Jerry related to those, watch this now, that ought to care but don't care? I know I'm on, I know I'm on, I know, I know I'm on 
the right street with that right there because you know they're 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 related that there are some that say that they love you and oh they love you so much and I say they care about you so much they they have so much uh, 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 love and, and care and empathy and all that for you and child just let me know if you ever get in trouble I'm there I'm there I got your back girl don't get no don't get no pickle I'm here for you I'm here for you and as soon somebody say soon as soon as you get in trouble that same one that said they was there 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 you can't find them no way don't talk no more. All, right. mm. All of a sudden, they done forgot, uh, they, 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 they done seem like they done forgot your number. Mm. But you talked every day, every other day, y'all just chit chat, chit chat, chit chat. <laughs> Daddy told me one time, he said, son, get in trouble and you'll find out who you're real friends are. That's why I, I sang, sung that song, Amen, What a Friend. It was purposely, be purpose because uh, the song says, What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. He, look at what he said. It, 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 it's, he's such a friend that not only can you give him your griefs, you can take your sins, sin blocks, and do Can I get a witness here? See, you can't, you can't give, you can't give that friend your sins. Somebody talk back to me here. You can't give that friend your sins. They're not even trying to be friend real talk. Let's not try to bear your burdens. Amen. But Jesus is a friend that the word says that sticketh closer than any brother. And I liken that fact. I liken that fact. I liken that fact, Brother Mike, you know, because, you know, in life, you tend to put your trust in things that you are not put your trust in. That's right. That's right. It's so easy to put our trust in folk. Yes. Mm. Yes. Folk that say they love us. Yes. It's so easy, mommy, Brian, to put our our faith and put trust in folk that 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 say they're on your team and they on your side and they're there for you and 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 and, 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 and I'm not trying to put everything and all make it all bad and all gloom and doom. Amen. Because we do, God has given us some friends. We do have some friends. Can I get a witness? We do have some true folk in our lives. Can I get a witness? We do have some true people in our lives that not only say what they mean, but mean what they say and show what they mean by doing what they mean. Can I get a witness? Everything is not, I don't want to paint a picture that would suggest that everything and everybody is mayhem and, 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 and chaos and gloom and doom. That would be a lie. That's not true. But there's enough of it. I said there's enough of it. And, and it's enough of it, Mama B. It's enough of it that makes us get to a place of being tired of being sick and tired. I'm tired of this lying sister, sister. I'm tired of this lying brother, brother. And I'm tired of them telling me one thing, doing something else. Some things, not one or 
to them. See, that's why you, you know, the friend, the friend, uh, you know, they, 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 they limited. They, 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 if they, if they, if they ride with you, they're limited because you, and I'm not making it bad on them, but I'm just saying they're limited. Why? Because they, you, they can't, you can't give them all your burdens. No. Can I get a witness? Let me prove that real quick. How many in the midst of while we've been dealing with this pandemic, you gave all of your woes to your friend? Thank you for the crickets. I appreciate it. Because I couldn't answer it either. Bless God. In, what's your point, Bishop? In life, there's a citation that says, some rain must fall. Yeah. That means that it's going to rain, as another saying, Jenny says it's going to rain on the just as well as the unjust. But what we can't afford to allow ourselves to do is watch this, this right here. We cannot afford as the blood bought, say the blood bought, as the blood bought, as the, as the, as the God, as the God washed, as the living for God people, as the believers of Christ, Jesus, as the Christian, what we cannot do in that same perspective is we cannot ever fall into the place where we are looking at what the unjust got going on and then we want to signify what we as the just may not have as if God's not blessing us. Right. See, because see, that, that's what Satan will make us do. Yes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He will make us He'll make us flip and trip on God just as quick and just as easy. How so? He'll make you stop praying and asking God for, uh, for thanking Him for just blessing you for another day. Oh yeah, He will make you forget. He'll make you stop. Yes, yes. See, because when you get your mind on something other than God, that's why He say, and I will keep them in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. See, you got enough to keep God on your mind for than to ever let the devil make you slip and trip on God. How right, 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 yeah. oh, so? Because he's been too good. Mm -hmm. yes. And the fact of that is not only has he been too good, I love the fact that said he's good right now. Right. So why would I allow the devil to make me trip, Mama Jerry, on a God that's been blessing me, been keeping me, and that's keeping me even right now? But the devil will make us do that, won't he? Yes. Oh, yes, he will. Yes. yes, he will. How bold is he? We know in the scripture, I always like to say stuff and, you know, back it over the scripture because I don't want people to say, uh, Bishop says, so, 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 so. no, it's backed up by scripture. You remember that day in the book of Job? The Bible says that, amen, the sons of God was presenting themselves before God and then God looked over into the middle earth and saw Satan roaming to and fro in it. And he said, well, go out, Satan. Say Satan asked me. I'm going, I'm roaming to and fro up and down the earth, seeking whom I may devour. Yes. God said, he's already, he's already, he already know, amen. He's omniscient, can I get a witness? He's omniscient, can I get a witness? He know everything already, amen. He's ever omnipresent, he's everywhere at the same time. He already knew his gambit before he played it. Have you considered my servant Job? And at least one thing you can't appreciate about the devil, as much as he is the, the Bible declares him to be the author, the father, and the author of lies, when he's telling the truth, you know he really is telling the truth because he will lie. Yes, yes. He didn't lie to God though then. He said, yeah, yeah, I looked at him. I thought about your servant Job. As a matter of fact, if you take your hedge from around it, I'll make him your same honest servant Job that you done blessed tremendously. I'll make him curse you to your face. Same boy. Mm. But see, that's the good thing about it. And I use Job for the fact. See, when God knows what he got in you, what he done placed in you, God knows how he can trust you. Somebody ought to say bless his name. See, you should want to, you should want in the midst of peril, you should want to know that God can trust you. How so? Because God knows what's in each and every one of us. He knows the level of faith. He knows the level of salvation. He knows the level of trust in him. He knows the level of our faith. God knows everything that he needs to know about us. Would you not rather to know that you can be trusted by Amen. 
God. Right. See, because you, if you can't be trusted by him, then that means that you, you might not necessarily be in his will. Yes. Yes. Can I get a witness? Because see, one of the worst places in the world to be is out of the will of God. What do you mean by that, Bishop? I mean, it's a dangerous place and a dangerous thing to be out of the will of God. How so? Well, David said in this passage, he said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from with cometh my help. How so? Why are you looking to the hill? Because all my help cometh from the Lord. He used the hills here in, 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 in paradox perspective because in scripture, in word, God is often used in a position of tight work as it relates to mountainous regions and places and hills perspective. What was he crucified on? The hill called Calvary. Can you, I get a witness? He's related, his spirit and his power and his strength is related to, bless his name, and oftentimes to types and perspectives such as like uh, 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 um, normal things, things on the earth, things in perspective that, that we can otherwise look at and gain knowledge and gain understanding and gain strength on. Why so, Bishop? Because a mountain, let's go here, let me do the ABC of it for you. The mountain is a majestic thing. Can I get a witness? A mountain, are, are you with me? A mountain is a large thing. It's not small. It's not tinachi. It's not little. A mountain, a hill, is a large place. It's a, a large, humongous, a uh, 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 human entity. And the making of it could not have been simple, nor could can the, the essence of it being what it is, taken lightly. So he says there, I look to the hills from the come of my help. Why? Because he relates to the fact that when he's down in despair, oh bless his name, when he's in down in trouble, when he's down in the valley of despair, he can look up to the hills because he knows that in the hills all of his help is in the Lord. The Lord is not a God that's just a not a God of the valley. He's a God of the hills also. Amen. He made them. Hewed them up with his own hand. He's a God yet of the hills. Yeah. David said, I look to the hills will come my help. Why? Because all my help coming from the Lord. And that's what we got to remember, bless God, uh, uh, and always be confident in the fact that we must be confident in the fact as Christians, amen, is that when we call on God, when we are in trouble and despair, we want to know that when we call, not only is he listening, but he will and is going to answer us. Yes. Now, you know, real simple, not my, not my, but maybe, because, see, a lot of times, a lot of times what we do as Christian, we don't tend to talk, now it's everybody, but we tend to, some of us, tend to only talk to God when we in trouble. Yeah. 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 Amen to the truth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you say, I'll drink to that. Huh. A lot of us only talk to God, Mama Jerry, right. when we in trouble. Right. Situation come. Oh Lord, I need you right now. Come out, Lord, come and hear my prayer. My child, my son, my daughter, my money, my job. Oh, Lord. But what about yesterday when everything was good? Did he get it, oh, Lord? Lord, I just want to thank you. Hallelujah for being so good to me. Blessing. What about the day before? Amen. When he woke you up in your right mind and you might have had a little pain in the body and the ache. But amen, he still blessed you to get up out that bed and gave you a uh, reasonable portion of the health street. What about that day? Did you tell him, oh Lord, did he say, Lord, I want to thank you yes, yes. for yet being so good to me? Yes, yes. What about the day before that one? Amen. When when he when when you had that bill on the table and you, and you did have enough money to pay, that was maybe not the other one, but you was able to pay that one. Did you tell him, Lord, I thank you? See, and, and my point there, my point is simply that what we need to be mindful of as Christians 
is to not allow the enemy to make us forget about where and who our help is. Because we remember who and what is our help when trouble comes. Can I get a witness? He says, all oh, that men would only praise me. Praise him for what? Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him for what? Praise him for his excellent greatness. Praise him for what? Praise him for your going out. He said that down here in the later part of this passage. For praise him what? For your coming in. Praise him for your up. Praise him for your down. See, as a Christian, we got everything. Somebody say everything. We got everything to praise God for. We got more than just when we're in trouble. Not just when trouble arises. Right. David said, David said, he said, my help coming from the Lord, mm. which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. All right. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. That means whenever and however is always a right time a good time truly who it is that you call to see. Sometimes when we even get messed up in this flesh, we go to call on some folk that really uh, that really ultimately before we, before we thought to call them, they were not thinking about coming to our aid at all. All right, all right. And yeah. half the time, you know that he ain't. Yeah. Half the time, you know that really. You going on the whim hoping, you know what, let me go on the call. She might come on through this time. Oh, no, 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 no. See, see now, now, you're fooling around with them eyes if you want to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that I keep my faith and my trust in God. That when I know that I need Him, I know that, I know that, I know that, I know, I know. Whenever I call Him, He's gonna answer. You ought to get tired too of fooling with folks that's picky booing on you and stop and mess with you and not really aid and assisting you. You need to put your Trust in God, honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that is going to always yeah. say always oh. be right there. Yeah. He said, Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall not slumber nor sleep. <laughs> one of the darkest days I had in life. Had an accident, blew out. Ran into an issue of a car from the freeway. <laughs> and this is the God's out truth. Called my best friend at that time. Best friend, you know, that's BFF, we call it now. You know, that's BFF. We so buddy, buddy, chum, chum. Love each other so much. Man, what you doing? What you doing, man? You know, man, I'm asleep, man. What, what's up, man? What's up? Man, I just had an accident, man. Had a blow. Come over here, man, on the 91. And I'll come, come, you know, come here and help me. I'm going to have to get it towed. I'll come, you know, come help me get out this shit. Oh, man. What, 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 what time is Hey, man, I need you to wake up now. I need you to come. Hey, man, somebody. But see, but then when the call comes to you, y'all don't want this. It don't matter if it's 3 or 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. When the rain comes to you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Doc, what's up, man? Oh, man? Hey, man, yeah, what time is it, man? I'm asleep, boy. What's going on? What's the matter? You all right? Man, I had this accident, man. Oh, where you at? Man, I'm going to be on the 91. On, oh, what? And what? 91 what? Oh, man, okay. I'm, all right, give me a whole time. You all right? What's that? I need to call some family. Blah, blah, blah. I need to call. What, what's up? What? I'm on my way. I've been dressed up. See, 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 when you get the call, you Johnny on the spot. Look how much. You ain't, he didn't even have to ask you. Please be careful. I tell my daughter, please, child of God, be careful who you co-sign and who you put in your life and in your business and think they got your back and don't really. That's 
just real talk, y'all. Come on. Because see, that's the same Negro that's going to mess you up. Mm -hmm. And that will never be there for you. Right. But isn't it a good thing to know that Jesus... All right. And see, that's all you got to say, really. Isn't it a good thing to know that Jesus... Yes, Lord. Not only will, but that Jesus... Will be right there. Amen. Isn't it a blessing of sure to know that He is right there? You ain't got to always talk back to Him, Mama. He, you ain't got to look for Him. Can I get a witness? You, know, you ain't got to be looking under, you know, around corners and down streets and uh, you he, He's right there. When you need Him, He's right there. When you call Him, He's right there. In the midst of trial, in the midst of trouble, in the midst of travail, in the midst of pain, he's right there. In the midst of chaos and perplexity, at as high as peak, he's right there. We can call on God. Can I get a witness? David said, David said, the Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy keeper. Lord is thy shade on thy right hand. What is the shade? He come cover you. Can I get a witness? I said he gonna cover you. He gonna leave you exposed to the elements. Amen. He gonna cover you. He gonna, he gonna keep the, he gonna rebuke the, 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 the pastor's scripture. He will rebuke the devourer for your sake. He ain't gonna let him get to you. He ain't gonna let him get near you. He ain't gonna even let him touch you. Let's not even see you. He goes, he gonna cover you. He's going to hide you. He's the keeper. He's that keeper. He's that shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. I said he's the keeper. Can I get a witness? And he's going to cover you. From anything and for all that would come to suppress your spirit and to prevail this will over the will of God in your life. Lastly, he says, the Lord shall preserve thy going out. He shall preserve thee from, I love this, all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. I was asking one of the mothers one time over at the United Christians Missionary Baptist Church. My brother, Pastor Nathaniel Haley, served as a pastor. That was Lady Darby's former home church. We used to do a lot of eating there like we do here. And one of the mother, beloved mothers, Mother Davis, she's like mama. She's always cooking and she's a good cook. She likes bacon more than cooking. She made a pie one Sunday, a couple of pies. And she brought them in there. And a couple of them started, you know, trying to, you know, uh, get a get a pie from her. And uh, she always, you know, comes and, and, and gives them. She cut them up, give them to her. But this particular thing, I didn't want to cut the pie. I wanted the whole pie. Mm -hmm. Bless his name. And so she now, Bishop, you know, I can't just give it to you. But I said, yes, you can, Mama. I said, she said, how that? I said, because see, everybody ain't going to be willing to do what I'm willing to do for it. What you talking about? I said, Mama, I'll give you $10 for the pie. Mm. Somebody heard me say, I said, $10. Then they jumped on it. Now, here we, here we go. We had a bid on the pie thing. The perspective of it was, she said, y'all, y'all keep the money. I don't need it. I'm going to just cut it in. And I'll give it to y'all. Y'all deal with it. I said, well, Mama, I don't want to do that. I want the whole pie. I want to take it home. I wasn't satisfied with getting only a piece of the pie. Can I get a witness? I wanted all of the pie. And I shared that little example to show the fact that that's how God is to us when we look at him as being keeper of our soul and being a God over our lives. Amen. The passage just said, he will, amen. What he says is that he will preserve us from all evil. Not just some of the evil. Amen. Not just one evil. Not just that evil. This is, he said he 
will preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. I don't want a piece of his blessings. I don't want one slice of his blessings, mommy, mommy. Yeah. 
Jesus is my help. Yes, All of my needs, I know he's going to tend to them. Because I know that all of my help, I'm not going to, as strong as I might get, I'm not going to ever trust myself, trust in, the, in my fallible perspective. Because see, in the moral, it ain't about, it ain't about, it ain't about, amen, it ain't about dealing with it in the, in the moral. It's the, you need to know that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against spiritual weaknesses. Can I get a witness from anybody? Against spiritual weaknesses, spiritual weakness in high places. Therefore, you ought to take upon you the whole arm of God that ye might be able to stand. In the evil day and having done all to stand. Who is your help? Jesus. Is my help. Yes. Who are you trusted in? I'm trusted in the Lord. Yes. Who is your faith in? My faith is in God. Right, right. Jesus yes. is my help. Right. Isn't it a good assurance to know that in spite of life's perplexities, I believe if more folk trusted in God during this pandemic, it might be a lot more people that not have, may not have died. How can you say that, Bishop? Because some people didn't die because of uh, just, just, just the COVID. Some people didn't die just because of preconceived um, um, ailments. Some people died for fear. Amen. Some people died literally for fear. Scared and afraid. Some people died because of, uh, 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 of, of, of loneliness. They was all alone. Yes. People, people, people had nervous breakdowns. Yes, yes, yes. Didn't know how to cope, being in the house all by itself. Yes, yes. Isn't it good to know that whatever trial or perplexity may come our way, that Jesus is our help. Amen. 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 Amen today. He is our help. Lord, we love you today. We thank you for giving us to know through your word today that all of our help comes from you. Thank you for sharing with us through your word today that we can for an assurity count on you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for giving us to know. You said in the sixth trial, I will not forsake you. In the seventh, I will no wise cast you out. Thank you for giving us the assurance to know that whatever, whatever plight might fall our way, we can face it here long knowing that our help is in you. Give us the reassurance to know that in our faith and in our trust, they go together. In that our faith and trust is in you, gives us to know that we can truly lean and depend on you for all of our help. Bless this your word now. Let it have, oh God, even after this time of worship, let it yet have power, let it have validity in the lives of this your people. Something may come, oh God, around this week that might catch us faithless and uh, kind of weak in the midst of our faith. But let, it regret, let us be reminded to this word today to know that whatever may come, you are our help. And let us always trust in the fact that we can truly lean and depend on you for all of our help. We love you today. 
We can't get along without you. Lastly, we ask that your will be done in the hearts of your people. Keep us in the midst of your, your care, we pray. And it's all in your blessed name we pray and ask it now. Every heart said amen. 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 And amen. amen. Let's give God a hand of praise. Amen.